My name is Jeff Chinnick from Morrison & Company. And today I want to talk to you about a balance sheet ratio called the current ratio. The current ratio is very common. If you're borrowing from a bank, your bank is watching your current ratio. It's probably in your credit agreement. And you probably have some agreements with the bank that may inflate or decrease your interest rate based on your current ratio. So it's very important to understand it and to follow it closely. So what is the current ratio and how do we calculate it? It's really quite simple. On your balance sheet, you have different classifications of assets, liabilities, and your equity. On the assets, you have current assets, fixed assets, other assets. You have current liabilities, other liabilities, and long-term liabilities. This is where your debt goes from your bank. And then you have equity. I want to talk to you about current assets and current liabilities. The term current means that it is likely to be converted into cash in the next 12 months either received or paid. So let's take an example real quick. Let's say we had $125,000 of current assets and we had $100,000 of current liabilities. Current assets divided by our current liabilities equals our current ratio. In this situation, the current ratio is 1.25. Let's flip it. If we have current assets of $100,000 and current liabilities of $125,000, our current ratio is 0.8. So what does that mean? The standard is 1. Anything greater than 1 is a positive number. In this situation, it's 1.25. That's pretty good. Over here, it's less than 1. 0.8, not so good. If your ratio is less than 1, it means you're going to have trouble paying your bills in the next year. If your ratio is higher than 1, You'll be just fine the next year.